más y la cámara que Ok. Who are these friends? Purple, who are you with? With Bobby. Huh? And with Hina. And with huh? the biggest of them all. Donnie Hart. <laughs> the man. What are we in here now? I'm with the champ. No, man. No, you're different or whatever. So this year, Nick Bachman, the chairman, said, well, let's give him something fresh right out there. Well, we got to go. I come this year, but I'm not going to honor you on this way to show up. All right, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Did you go to Japan? 68, I saw him over there with a came from Osaka. 68? was 25 years old man. <laughs> and he took over like a million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mess you with make, loose things. You don't make me laugh. It's in the last convention when you say, finally, I get behind you. <laughs> Lou is uh, one of the great wrestlers. He's next to you. When you die, he'll be the best. Not two, not three, but five buses he would pull just with his hair. And then along a few years later, I come back from Hawaii, from Japan, and for three days, sit there, and I, I see this young man after all these years, and he's on his knees praying. And I said, uh, why are you praying? He said, well, you know, he says, I'm working with you tonight and tomorrow I want to get married. But, you know, this is my pleasure to be there uh, with uh, Antero and Ferrito. Antero and Mama. This man has always been one of the true gentlemen who has represented our sport throughout the entire world and class act all the time, great athlete, and it's our pleasure to be able to attend this award. Good evening to everyone. First, I'd like to ask any wrestling fan today in this place, please take your hands, please your hand, please. Wrestling fan. To all of you, on the first day one when I become a professional, rightly I say, thank you for coming to our matches. Because you are the real, true providers of all our air for the ring. You are a daily player. And that is deeply appreciated by me, a kid who came from very far in this continent, fulfilled his dreams, and come to this unique, great country, and I say this from the bottom of my heart, which is United States of America. <laughs> and if you stay in the union, I will be deeply grateful to a great profession for professional wrestling. I grew up on the shadow of a real shooter, which was my father. He was a boxer, featherweight first and then lightweight. He was a serious candidate to go to the Olympics in 1936. I was in my name, I was the son of so-and-so. It was very tough for me to grow up under the shadow of a shooter. Until I say, well, someday I will fulfill my dream and be recognized by my own effort. And I did that at the age of 14 when I became in the sporting life. 44 years ago, I arrived at this show of America. And with that, I fulfilled my second dream, the one to bring all my family here. I'm a native of Argentina. Origin 
or one of the greatest country on this earth, Armenia, with a big, big background, and very proud to be one. And now, since 44 years ago, an American citizen by choice. Thank you very much for this great evening. Before I finish this, I will mention two men which reflects the real, true, genuine meaning of a great professional wrestling career. Two men who fulfill in the amateur rank and later in the professional field, and another one who was a high class man, not only in our country, but also away from the shores of North America, and they are both Danny Hodge and Nick Buckwinkle. Please take your recognition with a good applause to them. Thank you, Purple. And for you people that are standing here in the hotel in a half hour, his acceptance speech will be playing on Channel 6 in English. <laughs> To present our next award, one of the stars of the Southern States Gulf Coast Wrestling, Cowboy Bob Kelly, and the president of Cauliflower Hour, he's coming back again, Red Bastien. A lot of you may not know him because he didn't wrestle very much in America, but I did meet him in Charlotte, North Carolina. This man is unique. He's something different. So,